Hi, this is the tutorial devoted to the first step of the Dart challenge, which is search for information. For this sake, Chain Red homepage provides several tools that can be employed. First is the knowledge base, and the second is the semantic search. The knowledge base is a the place where, within a simple and straightforward interface, we have included a lot of information from many sources. Information from three different steps. The um, distributed uh, infrastructures, open access document repositories, and data repositories. Uh, the document repositories we have included, as you can see, more than uh, 2,500 document repositories that can be uh, freely explored. As you can see, they are present both as a map and as a table view, where you can search for information. For example, it has a, a real-time filter that it's really fancy. For example, if we look for chemistry, when you find the desired repository, you can click and I redirect it to it. You can see it's really straightforward. <coughs> Same happens with the <coughs> data repository. In this case, we have about 500 data repositories that can be freely explored. Again, you can click and uh, get direct access to it. Or you can search for a particular repository. Example: If you are interested in, in this one, then you can click and then access and, and get the, the relevant information. Next step is the so-called semantic search. Uh, what it does is to encapsulate and then this extremely simple interface, a very powerful uh, search engine that uh, get inside all those document and, and data repositories, extract the information, analyze it, and present to the user <coughs> on a straightforward manner. So if you search for a single word, you are searching into all those repositories at the same time. For example, if you search for benzene, you can see you have information from a data repository as well as information from document repositories. Uh, of course, you can click and go directly to the repository or click on more information and obtain all the information present in, in our knowledge base. You have some general information about the, the data about the repository, and if present, you have also information in Google Scholar, like the number of citations and so on. And if you are interested in this particular data, with a single click, you are directed, directed to it. As you have seen, it looks pretty straightforward, but with searching to thousands of document and data repositories, analyzing the information, extracting it, and presenting it to the user, as simple as, as this. Of course, you can search not only for words in, in the title, but also for different categories. Or even you can search for a particular author and will obtain all, all the registers of what we have. Um, another important a feature is that the results are not only presented, as you can see, uh, as a standard list, but as a graph. So you can select several of the proposals, of the results, view them, and find information. For example, those ones is pretty obvious, but uh, they share author. You can explore and see. If they have uh, more things in common. 
right? This allows to extract new new information. This is pretty straightforward, but you can, of course, find examples where this provides suitable results. Right? Some result that uh, you saw, you thought were disconnects, you find some relationships among them. So this is the semantic search. As you've seen, with under this very simple interface, we are providing a, a tool um, to obtain a open access document and data repositories that can be employed on your on your research.